Hi everyone, welcome to Developing Positive Attitudes and Motivation, Spring 16. I am Dr. Connie Waters and I'll be your instructor for the next eight weeks. So I've already emailed you how to get to the site and we will be using Moodle instead of Blackboard. So it is a little bit different this semester. So I wanted to go through today and just take you through the steps on how to use this learning management system. I think you'll find it very easy. The web address, like I emailed you in um, previously, is drcwaters.remote-learner.net. So once you get to this site, in the top right corner up here, you'll see a login. And so you're just going to type in the username that I sent you. And Moodle is case sensitive, so you want to do all lowercase and no spaces. So I'm going to just log in here as a student so that you can see it from the student point of view. Oops, get that right. Okay, and Molly Moodler is going to log in. And so all you're going to do now is once you've logged in, you'll come down here and click on EDU 5133 Motivation Spring 16, and that will take you directly to the course. So once you're in the course, the very first thing I want you to do, if you will scroll down, oops, it's already done. Yours might be a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and change these just so that you can see what this normally looks like on your screen. So when you scroll down, you will see a navigation block here and you'll see an administration block. And what I want you to do is go ahead and dock those. And to do that, there are two tiny squares over here on the right. So at the farthest right, when you hover over, it says dock the navigation block. So go ahead and do that. And now it's right over here on the left. And then I want you to do the same thing with administration. Go ahead and dock that block. And now it's over here too. And that just gets those out of the way. But it's a real easy way to work your way through the course. So if I hover over navigation, this is think of navigation as where you want to go. So this is kind of a shortcut to get to different things in the course. So you'll notice down here the course is set up by weeks. So if I wanted to go to the first week of January 11th, I could click on that and then everything that's in that week is below that. So if you wanted to go to a specific assignment, you could just click on that and it opens that assignment. So now that I've done that, how do I get back to where I want to go? If I look at my breadcrumb trail up here, Always go back to Motivation Spring 16, click on that, and that takes you right back to the front of the course. So navigation is where you want to go, so use that if you need a shortcut and you don't like to scroll. And then administration is very important because that's where you're going to see your grades. So anytime I get anything graded, I will email you or message you and let you know those grades are complete. And if you just click on that little grades link, it will take you to your own personal grade book right here. And in the gradebook, you'll see the point value for each assignment. Once I get those graded, it will show up here on how many points you received. And then any feedback that I wrote on those assignments will show up over here. So that's how you access your grades is through that administration block. So just remember that's where that is. Now, how do I get back to my course? Again, I go to my breadcrumb trail and I just come up here and click on Motivation Spring 16. And that takes me right back to the course. So let's look at how this is set up. You'll notice that in the right top corner is my picture. Here's my email if you need to email me. And then if you have a question in the course, say you don't understand an assignment or maybe a link is broken or something like that, you can click right here on message me and that will take you to an internal messaging system. And so you'll be able to just, it's not working too well right now you'll be able to just um, send me a direct message and I will get that in my inbox and um, we'll be able to answer your question very quickly. Below that you'll see upcoming events. So you'll see that Reading Research and Learning Environments is due on Sunday, January 17th at 11. So that just gives you a running list of what's due. If you scroll down a little bit farther, you'll see activities. One of the important things on here is if you click on assignments, that's going to take you to a list of every single assignment in the course and all of the due dates. And you'll notice on the due dates, everything is always due on Sunday evenings at 11 p.m. So that's very consistent. So you can always remember on Sunday nights, 11 p.m., everything should be turned in for that week. Again, to get back to my course, I'm going to go to my breadcrumb trail and click Motivation. 
And then another way to keep track of things is through the calendar, which is also on the right. And when you hover over a date, it will tell you which assignments are due there with links to those assignments. Or you can actually click on the date and that will bring up those assignments in a calendar form. So you can see everything that's due there. So again, I'm going to go back to my breadcrumb trail, back to the course. So you have upcoming events to remind you of due dates. You have the assignments link to remind you of due dates. And you have the calendar to remind you of due dates. So several ways to keep track of that. Um, you'll also notice down here under messages, if I send you a message, it will pop up here and say you have a message waiting. Right now it says no messages that are waiting for me. So that's a good way to keep track of those too. It will also pop up as soon as you log in that you have a message. So those aren't, aren't too hard to miss. Now in the center of the course, this is where everything lies. So unlike Blackboard, where you have to keep clicking on different things, everything on Moodle is on the front page. So you'll notice up here are course announcements, and anytime I need to get a message to all of you at the same time, I will post in that forum, and you'll notice the forum has two little talking boxes here, so you can identify it that way. Your course syllabus is right here, so you can go through that. And if you have any questions about the course, you can post them here. If this is a question that you think everyone might be interested in, this is a good forum to post that in. If it's a question just between you and me, use the messaging system, and that keeps it private. But anything you want everyone to see, go ahead and post in that forum. Then below that, you'll see a link to the how-to video for the course. So once I get this recorded, I will post it right here. And if you ever need to go back and look at it, you can, can certainly do that. So that will always be there for you. So that's just the general front, you know, general information for the course is up here in the first topic section. From there on, you're going to start to see weeks. Now, once we actually get to tomorrow and the course starts, this first week will highlight in yellow, so it's easy to keep track of what week you're on. Everything for the course is already loaded, so if you want to work ahead, feel free to do that. I don't mind that at all. If you want to knock this course out in four weeks, go ahead and do that. Just remember that in the weekly forums, if you work too far ahead, you're going to have to go back and complete those forums with responses to other people's um, posts. So just don't forget to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is a forum on Introduce Yourself. So we'll go ahead and click that. And it has some things here on what's your educational experience, what do you like to do in your spare time. To start that forum and, and post your, your introduction, all you have to do is click on Add a New Discussion Topic. And you'll notice when you do that, you get a full text editor here. So you'll want to put a subject here. So I might just put, oops. Molly Moodler, and then write a little bit about myself. And then once I do that, I can just click post to forum and that will be finished. And I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really want to post in that forum. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that page. And then to reply to someone's post, you'll just click on the name of that post and there will be a reply button and you'll post some replies there. Then we have a resource, a video on 21st century learning environment. So you can look at that. Now you'll notice out to the side here, there are little serrated edged boxes. This will help you to keep track of what you've finished. Okay, so let's see what happens when I click on this video. I'm gonna go ahead and do video on the 21st century. Here's the video, it pops up. I can click on here and watch the video. Once I've done that, Again, to get back to my course, I'm going to go to my breadcrumb trail and click Motivation. And now that I have watched that video, you'll see over here on the right that that checkbox has marked. So I know that I've done that and I don't have to go back and try to remember what I've done and what I haven't done. On assignments, when you look at those, once you turn that assignment in and actually submit it, this box will check off. So just a real handy little thing to keep help you keep track of what you've done and what you haven't done. So I hope that's helpful to you. And let's look at assignments and how to turn some of those in. This one is called, uh, let me go, let's do this one, Environments That Welcome and Motivate. What you're going to do is read through here and there are two links that you're going to go out to and read about. 
So we're going to click on this first link. It will open in a pop-up box. Let me move that down so you can see it a little bit better. It will open in a pop-up box. You can expand that if you want to. You can pull it out, you know, whatever you need to do to read it. Um, so you're going to go through and read this article. When you're finished, you just exit out of it. And then you're going to do the same thing with this article. Again, I'll pull that down so you can read that. And then you're going to write a paper. Okay, so you're going to write a one to two page paper with these, um, these requirements in there. These are my words today. Okay, so all you're going to do after you write that paper is you're going to come down here and click on Add Submission. And you'll notice it's already told you that you've not attempted it, it hasn't been graded, and that it's due in seven days and four hours. So I'm going to click Add Submission. And right down here, there's a little Add button. All right, so I'm going to click on Add. This is just like doing an email attachment. So I'm going to click on Add. If this browse box does not appear the first time you do it, just click on upload a file and that will come in. So you may have to do that the very first time. So I'm going to click on browse and I'm going to go to my documents where I saved it and I'll just find anything here. Um, here's something I sent out to you. So I double clicked it and so now it's going to show up right here. I know that that's in there and I click on upload this file and it will show up right here. Now, what if you accidentally clicked on the wrong one? If you click on it again, you can delete that and do it all over again. So I'm just going to click on Add. I'm going to go back to that file. Let's say I did the wrong one. So I'm going to do this one. Upload my file. Here it shows up. And then all I have to do is click Save Changes. And when you scroll down a little bit again, now you're going to see that yes, it's green. You've turned that in. It has not been graded yet. And here is your assignment. So again, if you need to edit that or turn in another file, you can just click on edit and scroll down a little bit. Go through that process again where you delete it, save your changes, and it's turned in. So now that's done. Again, I'm going to use my breadcrumb trail, go right back to the course, and it should, yep, it's checked off now. So I know that I've turned that in. So it's just a real easy way to keep track of things. Now, within each week, oops, sorry, I don't mean to keep scrolling too fast here on you. At the beginning of each week, there will be a brief little introduction about what we're going to talk about. So this week, I know we're talking about a positive learning environment. Then within each week, there will be resources and there will be assignments. And then most weeks, not the first one because you're introducing yourself the first week, there will be resources, assignments, and then discussion forum. And it's the same on every single week. So resources, assignments, discussion forum. On the discussion forums, you need to post once and then you will reply to two other people's posts. So you're making three posts every week. Um, on the resources, make sure you read those before you come down and do the assignments because they're very important to have ahead of time. Um, let's see what else I need to go through here. I think those are the main things. I mean, it's pretty straightforward on what you need to do. And again, every week is set up exactly the same. So if you have any questions at all, just feel free to message me. Use this little button and I'll make sure that's working before you actually do it. Um, use your assignments button to check what you need to do. Use your upcoming events to keep track of things. Use your calendar to keep track of things. Um, remember that Sunday nights at 11 are always the due dates. If you are going to be late with an assignment, I understand life happens. You know, um, it may be parent-teacher conference week or things may be going on. So if you think you're going to be late, just email me or message me and just let me know that an assignment might be late so that, you know, I know you haven't forgotten. You've just had to put it off for a little while. But with everything loaded, you know, eight weeks in advance, you should be able to work your way through. And if you do have something coming up, try to work ahead instead of be late. So those are the main things with Moodle. Like I said, it's pretty easy to do. I think you'll find it's pretty straightforward. 
So if you have any questions at all, again, email me, text me. I included that on the information I sent you, whatever you do. I hope you enjoy this course. It's one of my favorites to teach, and there's just some fun stuff in here. So I hope it's beneficial to you, and again, if you have any problems or questions, don't hesitate to contact me. That's what I'm here for. So have a great eight weeks, and I'll be in touch with you soon. Thanks so much.